Joe Biden's running mate choice is a serious political liability for him at this point. Every ounce of polling that we have basically tells us that Kamala Harris is in many ways more unpopular than Joe Biden. And um, also is that her prominence at the top of the ticket by knowing that, at the, at the bottom of the ticket I mean, knowing that Joe Biden is so old and then zeroing in on her as a potential commander in chief. Basically, this phenomenon has not been, like a VP has not been under this much scrutiny since Sarah Palin uh, under John McCain and then prior to that, uh, George H.W. Bush under Ronald Reagan. So we have videos, you know, continuing to come out. Let's put these up there on the screen. This reference, by the way, uh, you know, all of the viral <clears throat> memes. I mean, this clip has been literally everywhere. You see Biden, I mean, almost just like frozen completely while everybody is In clapping. In a stupor, and effectively. Dan- effectively a stupor. Stupor is the best way to put it. Everyone else is ambulatory. Everyone else is like, <laughs> moving around him, able to move their limbs. He's literally stuck. There's a lot of memes out there, uh, which I don't condone, but they say uh, when the edible hits. And then (laughs) you have somebody, Tyler Perry, I think that's who it is, next to him, like wake him up out of the stupor and he's finally able to move one of his limbs and react to some of the things that are going on. It just, you know, shows his age. Uh, And then we look at the polling. So let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. So what do we find? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris remain unpopular, but Kamala's un- uh, Kamala's favorability rating is actually less than Joe Biden. Her unfavorable is slightly less than Joe Biden, but it's still not particularly good. Go to the next part, please, because this is where we can actually start to get into it. Most registered voters do not think that she would win a presidential election. Now, in your opinion, how likely is it that Kamala would win an election for president if she were the Democratic nominee? Likely is only 34%, almost a supermajority. Some 57% say it's unlikely. Amongst Democrats, some 60% say it's possible. But the independent number is 62% say no way and 81% no way for Republicans. I mean, she really does have a deep both unpopularity and then almost more importantly, Crystal, it's that people intuit that other people don't like her and thus they don't think that she can win, which is equally important for, you know, for people who would eventually support a candidate. There's a like a phenomenon where people want to back the winning horse. Yeah, well, there's also a phenomenon. I mean, at this point, just looking at the how closely tied her favorability rating is with Joe Biden's. I mean, they're basically the same Mm -hmm. in terms of their net lack of favorability. You also have this dynamic where at the beginning of Biden's term, they were putting her out for a lot of interviews and it was disastrous. I mean, it was like every interview she did, she screwed up. And so it was not good for her. So since then, they really, she hasn't been front and center very much. And so I really think at this point, it's less a judgment of her individually. Yeah, people don't have any confidence in her and they haven't been given any reason to have any confidence in her. But I honestly think it's just tied into feelings about how lack the lack of confidence in the Biden administration as a whole. And they don't seem to be making a lot of separate judgments about, yeah, but if Kamala was in there, then things would be better. If Kamala was in there, things would be worse. It's just like everybody involved with this is not doing a great job and I don't have any confidence in any of them. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. Uh, let's go to the next part, please. Uh, B4, please. And uh, just take a look at this. Nearly three quarters of Democrats do appear to like Kamala Harris. And this is actually probably the biggest problem, Crystal, Mm. that they face is that she has the same Biden phenomenon that he had under Obama, where they're like, well, Obama trusts him and I like Obama. So I'm going to transfer my quote unquote likability over to the vice president. Mm. Remember, a lot of Democrats still like Biden. Um, They don't necessarily Mm. think he should run again, but they like him. And so they're like Kamala. She served him loyally. Okay. So in a primary, look, I think in an open primary, I don't think that she could win, but she has such a powerful edge whenever it comes to the Democratic media elites. And also, you know, a lot of the traditional Biden coalition, older voters and older black voters specifically, who, even though they didn't back her in the primary previously, in fact, she literally dropped out before Iowa. This time around, her service to Biden could be rewarded. That's a real issue when you have the Democrats so misaligned with the rest of the country. Yeah, no, I think that's right. Mm. And you're right in an open primary. Listen, she's the vice president. She's going to come in as the favorite. Yeah. And polling of theoretical, you know, before it was totally 100% clear it was going to be Joe Biden and no one was coming in to, you know, in the establishment of the party to run against him and all of those things. They would do those trial matchups 
And Kamala was always kind of near the top of the list um, or at the top of the list in terms of where people are putting their votes. Now, it, given that she's the vice president, it was no commanding lead to be by like a few points and Gavin Newsom nipping at her heels or whatever. But um, there's no doubt, just given her position and the prominence she's been given, that if you did have an open primary process, she would come in as the favorite. I agree with you that I think once under scrutiny, as we've seen before, uh, I think people would assess that perhaps she would not be their favorite candidate candidate or the strongest candidate and look in other directions. But she's been given, you know, she's been given a huge leg up in terms of being the future of the Democratic Party. And anyone who actually cares about the Democratic Party should find that to be a total disaster. Yeah, no, I think that's that's it. And so when we compare this to all of the problems that Biden has, this is where her deep unpopularity will just continue, I think, to haunt him. And if he loses, this is going to be a huge, huge reason why, is that they didn't have trust in the number two. And then also, if he does get reelected, this the amount of scrutiny that's going to go up. I mean, we're a single health event from this lady becoming literally president of the United States, which yeah. is terrifying. Well, if you go back to that dream president yeah. word cloud. Yeah, she's not up there. Not even Democrats Can were we putting her up over? there. Do you oh, see her in I there at all? I her in there at all. I, would say, I see Elizabeth Warren and Gretchen I Gretchen see Pete. Warner. I see John Stewart. Yeah. I see yeah, Gretchen Lincoln, Whitmer. Uh, Keanu Michelle Reeves, Obama. I believe, is there. <laughs> hey, I would vote for Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Jimmy shit. Carter is in uh, there. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter's on his actual <laughs> deathbed. Literally. Team Jeffries. Oh my. I do not. This is a problem. I. She may be. If she, there's like a, a Where's Waldo thing going on, I'm looking for. Her. I don't. See I don't her see it either. Anywhere. I see Martin Luther King. I see. Uh, yeah, Gretchen Whitmer, Pete Buttigieg, Hakeem Jeffries. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... I see Zelensky apparently more popular there wow. than Kamala Harris. Well, that's good evidence. Only wow. proves exactly what we're saying. That's incredible. That's yeah. actually incredible just noticing that. Yep. There so you there you go. That tells you everything about how even Democrats, the level of confidence even they have in Kamala Harris, not, not in any of their dreams, apparently. Hey, if you like that video, hit the like button or leave a comment below. It really helps get the show to more people. And if you'd like to get the full show, ad-free, and in your inbox every morning, you can sign up at breakingpoints.com. That's right. Get the full show. Help support the future of independent media at breakingpoints.com.